Hello everybody. Long time no video. <laughs> uh, it's been over a year since I have made a video and uh, it's for good reason. I have uh, taken a new career direction, a new career path, and that's been the, uh, the focus. And I'm going to be a home inspector. <clears throat> I'm actually licensed, but uh, I've got uh, just bought the software report writing software, and I've been training with a guy, like shadowing him. So that's why the toilet making has been put on hold. So um, even though I am going to show you what I've been working on, um, I'm not making toilets. These are already, you know, these toilets have been made for a while now. Um, but I'm just going to do some, uh, actually... I just put these side by side to sort of compare. This is the one that I'm going to be um, trying to do a complete cutaway version of. But, you know, obviously the toilet is already made, so I don't have to make the toilet. Uh, just um, the internal tank components. Um, and I'm going to put the uh, Lexan plastic up there to, you know, enclose everything. But... Uh, anyway, I wanted to show you today what is uh, what I'm working on, um, and once this is, if it all works, it should be pretty amazing. But this is, uh, I made a video before about this. This was the original cutaway, and uh, with the tank components in there, uh, this one doesn't work. It's just basically just for looks, and uh, but this the seat actually seat and lid go up and down. The, glued together um and then this is the one that i actually made the uh cutaway with the clear lexan plastic on to you know see if i could make it uh flush and function and everything like that and i put too much resin in there to attach the plastic so it was really caked up in here and i think it it restricted the the trapway from uh flowing like it should but uh, what I decided to do is um, use the heat gun, got all that off of there, cleaned it up, and I'm going to put uh, in the tank not just the uh, the float, but it's a different float. This is going to be the like old ballcock style float, and this is going to be an actual working valve. So I'll show you what I've done. Uh, here is the 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 little float. Uh, and this is, um, it's hollow inside and this took a while to make, uh, it's not really, you know, perfectly, uh, symmetrical, but you know, it's good enough. It's, it floats, it's hollow, it's light. Uh, and I've tested it and it does work. And this is the, if I can get it here, this is going to be the valve. And I decided to do it in white so it would show up better in the water. Um, and I'll include some pics that show, like, before I um, assembled this, the sort of the different components. But you can see the brass tube going in the bottom and coming out the top right there. And uh, here's the, the top of it. It's got the, the little mini um, bolts. And here are the tiny little mini nuts. Um, it's pretty easy to drop those. They're very tiny and a little bit challenging to deal with. Uh, obviously, this will go on here. And here's our little, you know, fulcrum piece um, with the pin right there. And so that's going to go on top of this. And there's the, I made a little diaphragm. I tested it and it worked pretty good. Um, but we'll just have to see if with like prolonged testing, if it continues to work. See the little diaphragm goes there and then the pin will press down against the, where the water comes up through this tube and shut it off. Um, and I put this, I, I made this little brass ring there and a brass ring on here to reinforce it, um, because the, the resin, the plastic, really can't um, withstand the force so much of these, of these uh, bolts. Uh, so that's what the 
uh, that's what the brass is for. But, uh, and see the, the, I guess the fill tube that goes to fill the tank, instead of it being internal like before, this is going to be a separate tube coming down. And you can see, if I can get this off of here, here we go. Uh, see up here, there's a hole right here. So the water can go into the fill tube. This other little hole is to the overflow to fill the bowl. So, and I, I will um, do another little video that shows this to completely together and then me testing it out with water. So, so that's what I've been working on and a um, little pin fell out there, but um, and again, I'm not making toilets. This is just, you know, using existing stuff to make a, a working, um, the older style ball cock valve, um, because, you know, the, the valves that I had before were just like mock valves, like the little float would rise, but it did, didn't actually shut off the water, but this actually will. I've tested it, uh, with some like just quick preliminary tests and it does work. So this should be really cool up in that tank and then uh, where this little uh, cutout is, is where the, the flush valve will be. Um, and I sort of had to use flexible resin to attach the, uh, the tank to the base and it works amazingly well. Like that tank is really attached well to the base, but um, you know, if all goes well, this, this will um this will work it'll flush you can see the uh the the ball rise and shut the valve off and the flapper work and all that good stuff but um that will be in videos to come and i uh, hope you guys like the video you can you can comment of course if you'd like and make sure to like and subscribe and i will see you in future videos Oh yeah, so another thing that I wanted to say as far as making the toilets again, because I've had uh, different people uh, inquiring about it, and uh, it'll probably be, um, I'm guessing, maybe about a year from now until I can um, actually make the toilets again, because um, I will be moving and getting my own place that uh, where I can use my kiln and, um, you know, basically make a mess, <laughs> you know, because when you work with clay, you've got clay all over the place, it's powdery, and it gets all over everything, and um, right now, um, I'm renting, you know, and I've been renting the place where I, my studio is, and it just, uh, it's not good for uh, messing the place up, I'd rather have my own place that, you know, if I mess it up, it's all my own stuff that gets covered in clay dust and all that, so, um, and by then I think that my, uh, career should be with home inspection should be, um, you know, farther along than it is now. So it, it'll be a little bit more consistent. So that's why, uh, it'll probably be, I'm guessing, you know, maybe like a year from now. Um, but you know, I still plan on returning to making toilets. So, um, anyway, just wanted to add that in for, uh, uh, people who are, uh, inquiring about it. So thanks again.